What's up, you sweaty nerds and greasy degenerates? So, Dr. Ratio has finally arrived in Honkai's Star Rail, and this five-star premium character is making a big splash. So, I did some calculations for his ultimate rotations to determine whether it's worth running certain gear on him or not. So, let's go ahead and take a look. Alright, so let's go ahead and dive straight into this thing here. Now, please do not get intimidated by what you see on screen right now. This is incredibly easy to understand. A child, a baby, could understand what's going on on screen right now. It looks a lot worse than it really is, and I'll be explaining everything in great detail. Trust me, bro. Anyway, so, Dr. Ratio's ultimate rotation begins with his ultimate, of course. Then it goes skill, skill, skill. This is with the understanding that we're going for a three-turn ultimate because that is the one we want. You could go for a two-turn ultimate, but it's not worth it. Um, I'll explain that more in just a little bit, but unless we're going to be running this in pure fiction or something like that, you're not going to want to run this two-turn ultimate. One day in the future, if they bring us a pure fiction where Dr. Ratio gets to shine, this might be what we want to do, but not right now. So let's go ahead and talk about this. His ultimate costs 140 energy. Every skill you use with him gives you 30 energy. Every basic attack gives you 20. Every follow-up gives you uh, 5 energy. And every ultimate gives you 5 energy as well. Now, this is all going to be done with the understanding that you know how Dr. Ratio works to some degree. Meaning, if you have, if you have 3 debuffs on the enemy, you get your guaranteed follow-ups, which make all of this work. And if you have 6 debuffs on the enemies, just so that you guys know, you would get 15 crit rate and 30 crit damage. But that does not matter for these calculations whatsoever. Now, again, we're going to go ult, skill, skill, skill. And that's how it would break down here. Ult, skill, uh, skill, skill. Each turn, you see, has been uh, put separately here in uh, parentheses. Every single turn is in parentheses. And everything outside of a turn does not have parentheses. Now, um, this looks a lot worse than it really is because everything you see highlighted right now is actually just this right here. It's really not that hard. I just kind of broke it down a little bit for you in case you were curious of what this actually really looks like and what it does. So let's go into it. So you get five energy for his ult. You get 30 for his skill. And every time you use his skill, you get a follow-up as long as you have those debuffs I was mentioning before. That's one turn. And you get 10 follow-ups, or sorry, you get 10 energy from two different follow-ups that will occur. Every time he uses his ult, you will get two follow-ups. That's why it says 10 for the follow-up here instead of 5, because there's two sitting here. You just need any ally to hit the same enemy you ulted onto twice in order to get that follow-up. So now that you understand how that works, let's get into it. 5 for the ult, 30 for the skill, 5 for the follow-up, 10 for those other follow-ups, 30 for the skill, 5 for the follow-up, 30 for the skill, 5 for the follow-up. This is three turns worth of gameplay. This only gives you, unfortunately, 120 energy that's not enough for your ultimate but that's actually fine and i'll explain why in just a moment but as you may know 120 is not the same as 140 but that's okay let's get into this now if you are curious about whether you should run an energy regen rope or not an energy regen rope would give you enough to ultimate in three turns without any other effects you don't have to get hit by an enemy you don't have to you know, defeat an enemy, you will get his ult every three turns with one energy regen rope. It gives you like just enough here. But I do not recommend doing this, and I'll explain why. For one, you'll end up taking a damage loss, and secondarily, it's just not really necessary. So, as you saw here, this is this more simple breakdown of what we just went over. But defeating an enemy gains you 10 energy. Any enemy, doesn't matter who it is. Yeah, uh, if you do, if you defeat a baloney sandwich on the battlefield, it'll give you 10 energy. Now, being hit by an en enemy gives you 10 energy as well. So either one of these would give you 10 energy. So getting hit two times gets you 20 energy. Getting hit one time and defeating one enemy would give you 20 energy. And getting or and defeating 20, <laughs> sorry, and defeating two enemies would give you 20 energy. Any of these scenarios would give you 20 energy, and that coincidentally is all that you need. Because the 120 value from his normal three-turn rotation that we were talking about earlier just so happens to be enough with any of these effects to give you his ultimate. So, his normal three-turn rotation, plus getting hit two times or defeating two enemies, either or, would give you his ultimate in three turns. This isn't just some trust-me-bro situation. I've tested this many, many times. 
This is incredibly consistent. What you see right here is super duper consistent. It's not technically guaranteed. There will be some moment where you don't get the ultimate in three turns, but that's fine because you're going to get it most of the time. It's totally fine. You'll get the ultimate in three turns. That's what we want. That's how we get it. So make sure that you're paying attention in battle. There are sometimes ways you can manipulate battle in order to either get hit or potentially defeat an enemy to give you the ult. If you know your ult should be coming up soon and you don't and you haven't been hit by any enemies, if you haven't defeated any enemies, maybe consider deleting one of the mobs with a skill and potentially giving you your ult so that you can get your ultimate up. So that's why I'm showing you guys this and telling you guys this because in combat, you can manipulate this a little bit to your favor to give you the three turn ultimate. Again, running an energy, reg energy regen rope means you don't have to worry about any of this, but I would not recommend doing it because you take a massive damage loss. Let's see how much it would be because running an, running an attack rope would give you 43.3% attack. Without the attack rope, you don't have that. That's a massive number, dude. You don't you don't want to be lacking that just to try to give yourself the guarantee when, to be honest with you, this is incredibly consistent. So let's move on to a hypothetical here. Because a lot of you probably want to try to give him an ultimate faster. I understand. But again, I don't recommend doing this unless one day we get a pure fiction that kind of wants us to do that. But we don't have that right now. So we will go over this hypothetically because it's fun to. And anyone who's curious knows, don't try this unless you know what you're doing and unless you want it for something very specific. But again, most players should not be worried about this. But let's dive in anyway. So the original uh, equation from before is the same. We just take off one of the turns. This would end up giving you 85 energy without the energy regen rope situation. It's, it's obviously not enough for an ult. 85 energy ain't nothing, okay? Now, if you get hit or defeat enemies six times, either or six times, it would give you 60 energy. 85 with the 60 is 145, so this would give you the ult, but let's be honest, man, you don't have three turns anymore. We're trying to do this in two turns. But if you're trying to do it in two turns, it is very, very unlikely you're going to get hit or defeat enemies six times. This guy's got, you know, single target damage. This is unlikely to happen in only two turns worth of combat. So I would not rely on that whatsoever. So let's dive further because I'm sure a lot of you are like, well, what about energy regen rope? Or what about the Pentagoni set? We're going to talk about it. So with the energy regen rope, this exact same scenario would give you some different values. So everything you see right here, these three different numbers, are these three different numbers just while wearing an energy regen rope. So the normal rotation would give you 101.49, not enough for the ult. Here's the added value you'd get. Um, the, but we changed the things up. Inst we've, I found out that instead of getting hit six times, you'd only need to get hit four times instead. And again, you're trying to do this in two turns, not three. So it's still really unlikely that you'll get hit or defeat enemies four times. It's not reliable. It will happen sometimes, but it's not something you want to focus on. Because again, it wouldn't work unless you had the energy regen rope, which is a damage loss. Now, this would give you 149.25. This does give you the ult. But again, it's a major damage loss and it's kind of unlikely to happen. Very unreliable. Now let's go ahead and dive even further because I'm sure you guys are wondering what about energy regen rope and Pentagoni. Now you're really talking about some damage loss, okay? You're talking about some real serious damage loss here. I'll go over how much, like, you know, not estimated damage, but I'll talk about why that's such a massive damage loss in a moment. But with 24.4 energy regen, which you would get with the rope and the Pentagoni set, by the way, obviously you can run Pentagoni or sprightly i'm just you, you know using pentagoni as an example they're both the same amount of energy regen so i'm going to give you first the normal values and then i'll give you the true value after so the normal rotation would give you 85. now we lowered the number because i found out you're gonna be able to lower that number now hey getting hit or defeating an enemy any uh, either or in three turns sorry my bad getting hit or defeating an enemy two turns in two turns jesus christ it's all about the words and things, guys. Jesus Christ, let me start over. Okay, so 85 energy with the normal rotation. If you get hit or defeat enemies 
three times either or within two turns you'd get 30 energy this gives you 115 energy the results with the true value are 143.06 this does give you the ult with a 28.06 added value this actually is doable this is pretty consistent this isn't as bad as some of these other options but there's a massive problem you are not gonna deal any damage this is not recommended do not do this this is dumb this is only something you might might want to consider if you're doing something ridiculous in some pure fiction very specific mode so just forget this even exists okay just forget this idea even exists you're not going to want to do this because you're going to take without running the energy rope you'll not have the 43.3 percent attack from the rope without this is the real kicker though without running Pentagoni, or sorry without running inert soul sato because if you're running Pentagoni or sprightly you won't have soul sato so you'll lose you won't have the 15 percent ultimate damage and you won't have the 15 percent follow-up damage he mostly deals follow-ups most of his damage comes from follow-ups inert soul sato is practically a requirement you don't have to run inert soul sato but it is definitely his most ideal planar set so if you're not running the attack rope and you're not running in inert soul sato you're gonna be basically slapping enemies with a wet noodle it's not gonna you might as well bring a moldy banana into the battlefield and throw it at the enemy instead of running this because this is not going to give you any damage so having an ultimate one turn faster is not worth this at all please stick to the three turn ultimate it is consistent it's easy to do you don't have to think about it y'all are probably doing a three turn ultimate right now without even knowing it so just be aware this is what you want to do stick to what you're already doing stick to the three turn ultimate this video was just to find out whether it's worth trying to run the other options or not and in my opinion it is simply not worth running those options so if this video was helpful or informative in any way shape or form please consider leaving a like and subscribe because if you do dr ratio might ratio you in the comments peace out